Hey everybody, this is SW Chris, signed from SW City. Welcome back to the Thursday evening vlog. Um, I'm driving home. Uh, this is Wednesday right now as I'm recording it. And there's a little rain. We're about to go over speed bump. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So hopefully the noise is not too bad. Um, I'm, I'm doing this in the rain and I'm recording it not because I'm short on time, but... Well, I guess... This, this past week has been mentally and, and spiritually taxing and exhausting. And it's just been really, really rough. That was a, another sort of pseudo speed bump. Sorry. I guess I'm just sad about all the stuff that's been in the news recently. Uh, all the divisiveness and the name calling and the uh, just, just all the pain that I'm seeing. Um, everyone just seems to be really on edge and frankly I can't blame anybody and I'm not going to really talk about the new stuff I mean but I'm going to talk around it I guess because I think it's important and it's really affected my mood and I want you guys to kind of know why I'm feeling down and I think really the majority of it, it's not that people disagree, it's that when they disagree, there's no respect for each other. And to live in a country that has no respect for the other half, I mean, you know, I don't care what side you're on or whatever, that is, when you realize that, and you, when you realize it's not going to get better, it just feels very demoralizing. And I, I realize there are disagreements that are very profound and deep and they are moral disagreements but I still think respect for people you disagree with morally is is possible. But it takes people to calm down and to stop hurling accusations to stop giving into fear to, to go into fact finding mode and to try to understand and that's something I just don't see a lot of. And it's particularly hurtful to be on the receiving end of it, you know? And I'm sure if uh, any of you do feel strongly about what's going on in Indiana or whatever, then, you know, you probably have been hurt by people who aren't on the same side as you. And it's just... That's, that's why I'm feeling sad, I guess. I also am glad that, you know, at least in the corner of the Minecraft community that I hang out in, and if you are a viewer of this vlog, then you're probably in that corner too. I mean, we still have that respect. And I think it's largely because we don't talk about these things, but that's a good place to be from where I'm standing. I mean, it would be awesome if we could talk about things that matter deeply to us and still come away as friends. I have friends like that who differ from me and we're still friends. I mean, some of them even kind of are bigoted a little bit, but we're still friends. You know, the purpose of the Minecraft community obviously is not to talk about those things specifically. And I think with some people in the community, I can have that conversation with people. And I I am so grateful for that. Um, I've actually had one conversation with somebody um, about an entirely different issue. And I think we're still friends, or at least uh, at least acquaintances. Because <laughs> I haven't had an opportunity to hang out with him a lot. But um, we are... We're good. And with the Minecraft community it's a great place to escape this stuff. And I'm so thankful for that. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm just going to keep, you know, engaging in the community and just enjoying everybody there and enjoying how much, um, you know, what's the word? Just, just enjoying the friendships that, that we're making. Um, even though we may not talk about deep, deep matters. Because the thing that unites us all is our love of Minecraft. 
And that, you know, you can't underestimate that. A unifying factor like that. Sometimes I just wish it were also, you know, a love for humanity and for everybody. Um, A love tempered with truth and self-control and peace and kindness. You know, those things. If I could wish for a world, it wouldn't be world peace because sometimes peace by itself can be awfully unloving. But people who have a mutual respect for each other because they have those kind of attitudes just internalized within them, that would be a great thing to have. And the Minecraft community, for the most part, is a microcosm of that. And I'm very blessed and thankful to be part of it. So anyway, I just want to thank you for watching. Um, Being able to talk out this thing has really helped me kind of uh, just kind of relax and just sort of let it go. And you guys watching is so grateful. I cannot, um, cannot really thank you enough. So if you felt something similar, please hit that like button because that really helps me um, with the channel. Uh, it helps you also because more of the uh, vlogs like this end up in your sub box. And my intention here is to uh, inspire you to one-up your own life. And uh, if you want more of those, hit the subscribe button too. And uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is SDB Chris. Auf Wiedersehen. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Bye-bye.